Hey, in anticipation of the release of my video about leakage protection systems used in washing machines and dishwashers, I decided to conduct a small test of the Aquastop valve. This valve is often recommended as a leakage protection, claiming that it can be installed in various places in the domestic water supply, for example in front of faucets or inlet hoses of washing machines or dishwashers. You can watch a video about leakage protection options used by manufacturers of washing machines and dishwashers in my other video, the link to which will be in the description or in the attached commentary to this video. So, the leakage protection valve, commonly referred to as Aquastop, the device is a housing, inside which a spring-loaded valve is installed, open and allowing water to pass through in its normal state. Manufacturers recommend installing the valve in systems with an operating pressure of 2 to 10 bars, corrected for a standard pressure of 4 to 6 bars. Valve actuation is declared within the water flow rate through the valve of 12 liters per minute. The valve is triggered when there is a sharp increase in water flow after itself, which implies a situation with a broken hose. The increased flow of water, putting pressure on the spring and the valve, which does not have time to pass a large volume of water through its holes, compresses the spring and the valve completely blocks the passage of water. I decided to test my valve at a water pressure of 2.5 bars, since my pumping station is adjusted this way and the pressure in the central water supply system of apartment buildings may often not reach a value of 4 to 6 bars. Having installed the valve in the garden hose, which will play the role of the hose leading to the washing machine, I install a valve at the end of the hose. I supply water under pressure to the hose. Smoothly opening the valve, it becomes clear that there is water in the system. Further, I try to smoothly unscrew the valve to the end, thereby opening the maximum passage for water. At the maximum open valve, the Aquastop valve is triggered. To return the valve to working condition, I disconnect it from the system, then reconnect it to its old place. Now, in order to create the situation of a torn hose as close as possible, I will simply try to cut it with a knife. First, I make a small incision. We see that water is pouring through the cut, and the valve does not block the flow. Although this type of situation is quite typical, for example, when a hose is damaged or when a cap nut is burst on a hose with a metal braid, very often the water flows just in a small stream, and provided that this can last long enough, a lot of water will accumulate in the room. It should be clear to everyone that the valve is not capable of operating with such a leak. Otherwise it would simply shut off the flow while the washing machine is collecting water. Then I will try to enlarge the cut, you can see that the water does not stop pouring further. And only after cutting the pipe completely, the valve is triggered. What conclusions can be drawn from this? Such a valve is only able to protect against leaks with a completely burst hose, and for normal operation it requires compliance with certain conditions, proper water pressure and flow rate through it, the higher these indicators, the higher the chances of the device being triggered. The fact that the valve does not protect against partial destruction of the hose is most likely a fact. Water can flow through minor damage for days on end and this will not be reflected on the valve. Actuation of the valve for a small passing volume of water is impossible, otherwise it would have worked for everything, for opening the mixer, for filling the tank of a washing machine or dishwasher. Also, such a valve is characterized by, so to speak, false, alarms, for example, if the washing machine has an intake of more than 12 liters per minute, or as a result of air entering the water supply system, after its planned shutdowns. In such a situation, after starting the system in which air is present, during the intake of water by the washing machine, there is a sharp acceleration of the mixture of water and air passing through the valve. This, shot, of air and water is likely to trigger the valve. And bringing the valve into working condition requires its complete removal, which can be very inconvenient with frequent false alarms. It is clear that this device has the right to life, but its operation requires compliance with a number of conditions. And life stubbornly says its own thing, for example, that external factors are often beyond the control of the homeowner himself, 
be it low pressure in the water supply network or air in the system, can cause false alarms or malfunction of such a device. The ability of the device to work when the hose is completely broken is beyond praise, and the passivity to small but long-term leaks may call into question its advisability for use in home networks. Those who do not abandon the search for devices to protect against water leaks can be advised to consider automatic shut-off devices installed in the water unit of the room, which are triggered by a signal from sensors that can be installed anywhere. On this, let me finish, I wish that the plumbing would not let you down, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, good luck to everyone and see you soon.